Uh, my name is Jenny, uh, and this is my son Emerson. Uh, I normally work it with the after school programming, helping to coordinate it. I also get to work in the skateboard camp, so I'm missing everybody a lot, and, but hope you're staying well. We are going to share with you some activities that you can do with chalk. So some ideas that you can do some art with, some also movement games that you can play by yourself or with ever, whoever is in your home with you during this time. One of the awesome things about sidewalk chalk is that your canvas is huge. So you have a big space that you can work in. Um, if you make a mistake, you can just wash it off and try again because um, learning new things is all about making mistakes and having fun while we're doing it. So the first thing we're going to show you is um, an idea that we had to make uh, a sidewalk chalk picture using painter's tape and chalk. chalk. All right, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your painter's tape or whatever tape you have and you're gonna build your shapes um, using, using straight lines, making triangles and squares, all, whatever shapes you want. Really doesn't matter. So we're just gonna start. I'll hold So basically just gonna color all of where the tape isn't and then we take off the tape. So pick whatever colors you want and just color. Tape it off, take it off, and now we get to take off the tape. Ugh. Cool, that's gonna look awesome. Ta -da! Ta da! Our final project. What do you like about it, Emerson? I don't know, it just looks really cool. It looks really cool, yeah. Um, you can make all kinds of different shapes, it doesn't really matter um, how you do it, and it's just fun to play around with different shapes and different colors. Um, that was easy. Um, yeah, now we're going to do something really fun. It's tracing me. You can be in whatever pose you want. And yeah. Okay, take your pose. What kind of pose are you going to have? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like shooting a basket? Okay, like how do I shoot? Put your hand like you're going to shoot. Like that. Sure, yeah. Air Jordan Duncan. Okay, then I'm going to trace you. You can put yourself some clothes on, make a face, yeah. decorate yourself. Here's my finished project. So in addition to using chalk to create art, you can also use chalk to create movement. Yeah. Um, so you can use it to help design courses or different play spaces, um, but it can just be a tool to help you move your body because we know how important exercise and movement is for us to stay healthy and to stay well. So the other thing you can do is make um, obstacle course with chalk. So we made one with different shapes and Emerson's gonna go through it and try some different movement skills that he's working on. So on the triangle, you go one foot, so it's a hop, and then a jump. Two foot. Yeah. And then on the squiggly one, you go like you want to cross the squiggly one. And then on these, you have to go in, out, in, out, in. And then on the line, you go like and try to stay on the line. Nice. Okay, do it again. Okay. So you can make up any shapes, any colors, any movements that you want. You can challenge people, you can try different things. Um, just create your own obstacle chalk or obstacle course with chalk. Nice. So we do these lines, and the point of the game is you have to bounce it in the other Bolson square while staying here and just catch it. 
and... Okay, let's see. Let's try it. Bounce, catch. And sometimes you add, like, one hand. Oh, one hand. Okay, we're going to do with one hand. And sometimes you do, like, try to catch behind the back. Oh, behind the back. Oh! <laughs> okay. And then if it gets too easy, you go out of the scope of the squares, and you have to bounce it in this square and that square. Okay. Two bounces. Two. And I catch. Okay, ready? One. Can I go into the square if I need to? No, you can't. Yes, you can. And sometimes you can do a competition and try for the other person not to get it. Okay. All right, and what if we had three people or four people or five people? You can still do it. You could just have to add another square. All right, so and you can make them as big or as small as you want. <laughs> Probably if you make them smaller, it's harder. Yeah. You think? Yeah, and you can have as many people as you want. Just a simple game with a ball and some chalk. If you feel like you want a challenge, this is a version called competition style. The keys to this game are fast movement and like different kind of spins on the ball. And the idea and is that you want to bounce it in your opponent's square and, and make them not be able make them to not it. be able to catch it and return it back. Kind of like a modified four square. And you can make the rules up however you want, whether you want to hit and it or catch it. How we play is you're not allowed to catch it out of the square. And you can't move with the ball, so you have to pivot. Like you have to keep okay, one foot on the ground. Okay, let's play. Wow! Watch out for the flowers. Nice spin. So thanks for joining us. These are just some fun ways that we thought you could play with chalk, you can create art, you can we, have movement. We encourage you to make your own. Yeah, try your own. Yeah. And the most important thing is to have fun, uh, get outside, um, and to get moving with the people that are around you. Okay, have fun. Go play. Uh -huh.